evening. I'm Joan, one of the program care coordinators for the American Stroke Foundation. And this is my sister Nancy. She's a physical therapist. And I don't know how many of you remember Ivy from my last video, but she decided to join us as well. Nancy's going to give us a few tips on how to use a cane and a walker properly and how to fit them properly. So let's get started. We're going to talk first about an adjustable cane. And I recommend an adjustable cane rather than a, a cane that doesn't adjust so you can precisely make it fit you, which will optimize your gait. There's parts of the cane that you want to look at. First thing is the tip, and you want it to be in really good condition because that's your contact point. And, and these do wear out, and you can replace them and get a replacement at the pharmacy. The other thing you have is the adjustable mechanism, and you have two parts, this button here and this little locking mechanism. And when you want to change the length of the cane, you unloosen the locking mechanism and you move it, push the button and you move it. And once you get the button back in place where you want it, you lock it back up. And you just do a light lock. You don't lock it really tightly. And then to adjust the fit of the cane, you put the cane not next to your side and let your arm hang down. And the top of the cane should meet the wrist. And you can see here that I have the cane at my wrist. And then when you hold on to the cane, you should have a slight bend in your elbow. You don't want your elbow, you don't want your elbow um, straight, and you don't want it really bent. You just want a slight bend like that. So then to walk with the cane, I'm going to back up. You want to synchronize the cane with your involved leg. In my case, it's my left leg, so the cane's in my right arm. And as you step, the cane and the foot should go precisely at the same time, and the cane should be parallel back to your arch. And then you want to go ahead and stride through and step here again. Now if you look down and you find that your cane's ahead of your foot or behind your foot, you're not matching it up. You want to match it up to the middle of your foot and then alternate. Okay, so now we're at the stairs and we're going to practice using the stairs with the cane. And there's a little saying that'll help you remember, down with the bad and up with the good. So the bad is the involved leg and the cane. So we're going down. So we go down with the left leg and the cane at the same time. And because this step is a little deep, I'm gonna scoot forward a little bit and then go down with the bad leg again. Cane and left leg, just like that. And then you can keep walking. Okay, so I'm going to turn around and go up the stairs, and it's up with the good, which will be my right leg. Okay, now we're going to practice going up the stairs, and again, um, the saying is, up with the good. So the right leg is the good leg, the left leg is the involved leg, and so we're going to go up first with the right leg, which is the good leg, and the cane and the left leg are going to come up together, synchronized and up with the right leg again, the good leg, and synchronize with the left leg. And then you can continue walking. Ready? So the next thing we're going to talk about is a roller walker. And the first thing I want to talk about is the parts on the roller walker. And one of the things that makes it a roller walker is the wheels. And you can have these wheels set to the inside of the walker or to the outside of the walker and you just reverse them. I have these set to the inside of the walker because it allows you to go through a smaller opening or a smaller do door. I live in an older house that has smaller doorways. And all you do is change out this adjustable leg and you just switch them around. The other thing is, is on the back of the walker you have tennis balls or they also at the pharmacy sell plastic sliders. And these allow the back legs of the walker to slide along the floor without scarring up the floor and also to move smoothly. And it's important to pay, if you have tennis balls, to pay attention to the condition of the tennis balls. You can see this one is in good shape. This one is not. So we're going to switch this out because this will eventually wear through and then you won't, you could potentially scar the floor. So I'm going to toss this used one to Joan and we're going to put a new one on. And what you do with a tennis ball is you cut two lines in it um, to open up the ball and then you just slide the ball over the leg. Just like that. So now we have two tennis balls that are in good shape. And to adjust the height of the uh, 
walker, you can adjust it just like the cane with these little buttons moving up and down. And the legs are the same length. And this walker actually has numbers, so my buttons are at four on both legs, all four legs. And so that's the next thing you want to do is talk about adjusting the height of the walker. What you do, just like the cane, you have your wrist down by the side of the handlebars, and the handlebars should be right at the bend of your wrist, which is what I have. And again, just like the cane, you have a slight bend in your elbow. When you walk with the walker, you want to start out with your legs right by the back legs of the walker and hold on. And you want to stand in nice, upright posture. So you're looking out ahead, not bent over, looking at the ground, or the cat in front of you, this eye view. So, good posture, and you want to remember that the walker is for balance and light support. So the walker is for balance and light support, you don't want to press down really hard. And you want to walk and let the walker move with you in synchrony. And you don't want to get too far in front of the walker. And if you do stop and get the walker back so your feet are right next to the legs, you also don't want to let the walker get out in front of you and chase this ivy or you'll lose balance. So if that happens, you want to stop, get your legs back up here squared away and good posture, nice and upright, and walk ahead. And because I'm looking out ahead, I can see this ivy. So we're going to avoid her a little bit and just walk slow and stay synchronized with the walker. And it's really better to walk slow with the walker rather than really hustle and then you get the walker out in front of you and you're at risk of falling. So you want to stop here, stand up nice and tall, and use your butt muscles to help you stand nice and tall. All right, Ivy and I would like to thank Nancy for her wonderful tips on canes and walkers and how to use them appropriately. Please note that these videos are just instructional tips for use of the cane and the walker, and you really should get evaluated by your healthcare professional so that you can have your assistive devices appropriately fit for your needs and fit and that will help your satisfaction and your success with the use of those. Stay safe out there and wear your masks, please. <laughs>